Okay, here we've got a quick attempt to show how you can use a backlight with one of the larger 400 by 240 pixel memory LCDs. I'm just running my standard demo, which you should have seen in my other videos. And to the back of the LCD I have my mobile phone just running a torch application. Um, which is running the screen at full brightness, just displaying a single white screen at full brightness, and this is the result you get. The uh, diagonal lines you can see permanently on the screen are just the lines on the plastic protective slip over the screen. As you can see, it displays the fine detail of the checkerboard quite nicely. Um, so I think using it with a backlight is is all right. I'm afraid I don't know what uh, light level the screen's putting out, um, but the LCD is blocking a lot of the screen. I'll take the uh, LCD off in a minute so you can see the phone. But I reckon that's okay. Plus there's the fact that my camera doesn't do very well in low light conditions. Right, we're twice through the demo now, so I'll power off and turn some lights on so you can see what I've done here. Move the Arduino out of the way. So here's the setup one breakout board with a mobile phone and an LCD stuck to it with a load of electrician's tape. Simple as that. And if we carefully remove the connector, you've got to be very careful with these flat flex connectors. I'm only using this one because it arrived damaged um, from the distributor. Right, there you can see the brightness of the screen behind there. In fact, I'll turn the lights off again so you can see how much light is transmitted. There you go. That's a comparison between what's behind and what gets through to a screen without any pixels drawn on it. And again, you can see the diagonal lines from the protective plastic films. There's one on the front of the display and one on the back as well. So there you go. Memory LCDs do indeed work with backlights.